Have you ever wondered where the city names come from? Sure enough, that is the title of the video. It is also a question I have asked myself in the past. I don't know why this obsession started, but about two months ago, I became obsessed with city names and their origins. Take for example, Engelmünster. It is a beautiful place if you like fries. There is literally five cultures at the town centre alone, and it has a population of like two stoners and an animated plushie. <laughs> Back to the town Engelmünster though. The name derives from the old Dutch words Engel and Münster. Engel, still being used in the West Flemish dialect today, means Engel or Angel in English. But what about Münster? Well, it's short for this word. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that. It means church. So the name of the city means Angel's Church. And indeed, Engelmünster is a town that was built around a church. And would you be surprised if I told you that the name of that church translates to Angel's Church? So now we go back to the title of the video. Where do city names come from? Well, they are actually quite literal. Take for another example, Kortre or Kortrijk. Its name is derived from Kortrerium, which means between two rivers. And how surprised, then, you might be to learn that Kortre is located between two rivers. The point I'm trying to make here is that city names are actually quite simple in origin. The reason why city names sound so different from our modern speech is that the name of the city does not change, and if it does, the change is very minor, like Dun Engelmünster becoming Engelsmünster, and then at some point the two words being mixed together completely. But the language itself changed significantly. The word Münster no longer exists, the word Engel has become Engel. Then, to answer the question of the video, where do city names come from? Well, the city name is probably a literal description of what the city is, was, or where it was formed. Thank you for watching this rather short video. I enjoy making these videos a lot, and they are significantly easier to make than my nearly essay-like normal videos, which is why I make them on the weekends. But if you would like to support this channel, then I would like to ask that you check out those videos as well. Ciao, Richard. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition.